Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing a video on taster days um, with Mick from Planet Narrowboats. So let's go! So if you're thinking of buying the narrowboat and you're a bit unsure and you want to make sure it's for you, there are a few, there are a few things you can do. Um, if your friend has a narrowboat, um, you can go on there, stay the night maybe, go a bit cruising. Um, you can hire a narrowboat for a week, week or weekend or something. And you could also have a taster day, which Mick does, um, and you just go out on a day and test out um, how you seem about driving and being on the boat. It's a great way to learn how to drive and to learn just to be on the boat and as well um, uh, you can ask questions from a very experienced boater. So after this clip you're going to be seeing um, me uh, driving Mick's boat and just getting used to driving a little bit and then at the end I'm going to be asking Mick some questions about boating. So Mick will take you around a winding hole to get used to winding um, and he'll take you a bit of cruising and he'll also take you through a lock to get used to everything. It's super fun and they also provide lunch. I'll do the lock and you do the drive. So just got in the lock now and we're gonna go down and let's hope I don't sink this boat. <laughs>
why do people book a taste day? Um, I suppose it's a very cheap way of, of uh, finding out as much information as possible on whether or not you like narrowboats, what sort of narrowboat you may want to buy, um, and, and whether you actually like the whole idea of uh, cruising the cut. Um, if you went on a, a higher, if you hired a boat, it would cost you uh, five, six hundred pound, up to up to thousands um, for a week. Uh, whereas this for one day, um, two hundred pound, and you get uh, a full day out, um, and you get to find out whether or not you enjoy it, whether you like it, and whether it's suitable for you, either to go on a, a holiday or even to think about buying a boat. Uh, what kind of what sort of questions do people generally ask? Of course, the main one is is what what can I get for uh, a certain amount of money, and that's a difficult question for me to ask when I'm answer because I'm, I'm not in the game of selling boats. But what I can tell them is that um, they need to decide what configuration they need, whether, certainly on the stern, whether they need a, a trad stern or a cruiser stern, which a cruise, this is a cruiser stern, or whether they go for a, a one in between, which is the semi. Um, and, and I have preferences and, and likes and dislikes, and I, I pass that over. It is only my opinion, it's not, it's not the way that they should be uh, particularly directed but I can only give them my opinion and say what is good for me and what, how it works for us um, and um, then you talk about boat lengths uh, well of course a 57 foot boat can go on any canal any part of the country uh, and 50 foot narrow 57 foot narrow boat that is um, a wide beam canal is restricted to only the wide canals any boat over 57 foot is restricted in certain canals 70 foot is the maximum you can buy uh, and uh, so you, you have to decide whether you want to do all the canals which and it's really it's really the northern canals that we're talking about with the short ones uh, the Leeds Liverpool and the Rochdale um, <coughs> and the Huddersfield they're, they're the short ones but after that um, um, a, a, a longer boat has more difficulty in locks in terms of uh, the clearance it has between the, 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 uh, the bottom gates and the sill and so you have to be more careful with that. A 57 foot boat will sit 12 foot away from the sill and can sit there happily all day while the, while the water goes down. So, um, And then there's a the configuration to think about whether you have a, a, a normal layout which is what, um, what we call it traditional layout I suppose where the bedroom is at the back and the living living area is the front, the, the saloon and the galleys in the front. Or like ours which is a reverse layout which has the saloon and the galley at the back and the main bedroom at the front. Uh, again it's his preference and, it, and it's what works best for you. I can't tell anybody which is best. I can only say well you know have a look at ours and use it and see what you think and, and try a few boats you know go out and, and, and look at boats that are for sale, go around them, have a look, go to Crick Show, go to other places and, and really have a good look before you spend any money because you know they're not cheap so. Thank you for letting us drive your boat and mm. you were nearly crashing. <laughs> have you enjoyed it? Yes. Good? Oh you did good, you did good so. So I'll put mix all mix links in the description box if you want to go and check him out. I definitely recommend you do. He's really awesome. And also you on eBay you can get this little turny flag thing where it shows where the wind is going. Um so which is really handy, which I'll also put in the description. Hey, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I do a video. And comment on my social medias, my Patreon, and my Gmail, thenambergolagmail.com, if you have any suggestions for me. And I also do have a canal post address if you want to send me any letters. Um, so yeah, see you later. Bye!